in Astoria. Astoria. We've taken you on a tour of Greek Astoria, which is the group that a lot of people associate with Astoria most famously. But we're gonna cross the Mediterranean today and we're gonna take you to North Africa in the Middle East on Steinway Street. They call this neighborhood Little Egypt, and there is a heavy Egyptian influence here, but there's also Lebanese spots, Moroccan spots, Afghan, there's a bunch of different places here. A lot of hookah spots. Oh, I'm so, so hungry. So this is the Friday night. I'm so Our hungry. Hobby. We are starving, but we only have two stomachs, Hello. so. <laughs> We're bringing bread. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly, perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our friends here with us, fellow Hi. Queens vloggers, representing Astoria. Represent Astoria <laughs> Friday night because we want to eat more. We only have two stomachs, so let's do this. Now we have four stomachs. Now we have right. four. Yay, more food. Yes. I think we should stop at this little Morocco first. We're currently at our first stop, which is. It's Little Morocco. <laughs> we, we have not eaten in a while. We're starving, so we're gonna stop here first. And what's cool about the spot, Little Morocco, is that on Fridays, which is today, they have a couscous special. So we're gonna get that. Maybe something else too. Let's go. Stop number one. This is a bit tiny. There's four of us, so we're gonna try. We have our food. These are some of the best spots. Whole world. We got here, we got the Friday only couscous, top of veggies, and we're getting sausage freshly grilled. No! <laughs> Merguez. The Merguez is covered in some couscous here. Let's take a bite. So juicy, so fresh. So we're also going to take a sip of the mint tea. Mm, nice and minty. It's got plenty of mint in there. No sugar, just tasting the tea and the mint, that's all you need. Cheers. Can't neglect our veggies, we got some veggies here. Very soft potato. Carry here too. Julie's I don't eat favorite cats. vegetable. But now I've eaten that somehow. I feel even more mm. All flavor in there. Some cinnamon. A piece of bay leaves in there. It's so good. It's that little broth mm. they poured on top of the couscous on the veggies too. Mm. Wow. I was sweating buckets seriously on Tuesday. <laughs> I went to Chinatown for the parade. I can just eat mm -hmm. the couscous by itself. Yeah. Who's getting the last piece? <laughs> sure, sure. We're we'll splitting it. Yeah. We'll do half so, half. Half half then. Do you guys know the strand barbecue? So that was actually a second or third time here. And it was awesome. That, that couscous was so flavorful. The merguez. We almost got the lamb shank. Almost. Almost. But it's actually a good thing that we didn't get the second because we have a lot more places to eat tonight. It was awesome. A great start to this crawl. And now let's go eat some more. I do. Yeah, I'm still here. We are here at our second stop. We're taking it for some seafood. We went from Morocco to the coast of Egypt here. We're, from, we're at Alexandria, Egypt. We're not really. We're on Steinway. It's too damn cold to be in Alexandria right now. But we are in front of Abu Kir Seafood. It's an awesome spot for Egyptian style seafood. And we're gonna get a nice mix here. We're gonna get some tagine. We're gonna get some grilled scallops. And we're gonna see what else they got. Definitely some baba ganoush too. The baba ganoush here is incredible. So I remember it being very cuminy and very, very full of eggplant. So we'll see. Yeah. And let's um, feast and stop numero dos. Number two, let's eat. Lucky. Yes, you are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this busy for one minute. <laughs> we Thank got you. lucky. We got a table right away. We have uh, Baba Ganoush on this team. Well, definitely Baba Ganoush. I remember last time we loved it. Yeah, you like it? Oh, yeah. 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 We'll definitely get Baba Ganoush. Yeah. 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 One Baba Ganoush and one salad. Yes. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We're ready to order. Yes. Uh, scallop. Yeah. Grilled. Say, like, how many pieces of scallop? Are they all that big? Are they all the same size? We're gonna get these fried fish, and they're gonna get this tagine, like this clay pot. Yeah. Cool. The tagine. 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 Yeah. Big tagine. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, a little baby octopus is good. Too. Yeah. Perfect. Amazing right. sauce. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that dripping olive oil. This one has a lot of eggplant in it. There's so much cumin in here. This is cumin overload. And I'm a cumin fanatic, as you well know. I can't get enough. You got these scallops grilled. Look how nicely seared they are on top. A lot of cumin dusted on top. Spice blend. A little olive oil drizzled on top. These look tremendous. Here we have the fried whole anchovies. We love the whole fried little fish. So when we saw these at another table, we knew we had to get them. Looks like they're dusted and a lot of cumin. They look very crispy. They were so fresh. Oh man. Anchovies that are deep fried. Fried food is the best thing ever. I think next to rice. It's crispy, but you can really still taste the fish. It's not too much breading on there. And the spice doesn't overwhelm. You really taste the fish, and it's very fresh, clean. It's great. These ain't your anchovies on pizza here. These are the real deal, fresh, delicious, awesome. Gonna soak up olive oil, get some more of that spice on there. Look how perfectly seared the top of that is. It looks so crispy on top, but also so moist on the bottom. Let's get a bite. Mm. So fresh. It's so buttery. I taste, I believe there's paprika in here. It is amazing. These scallops are next level. Here's the tagine. Baby octopus. The seafood tagine. It is packed with mixed seafood. Baby octopus. Oh, it almost jumped out there. It's a little, a little frisky. Chopped up calamari squid here. And we got shrimp. Looks very tomatoey. I see chopped up celery. I see peppers, tomato. Very unique Egyptian dish here. That's that's the reason why we chose this. It's, it's, you can't find this easily here in New York. Start off with baby octopus. I always gotta go octopus first, you know? Love it. So here it is. Let's get a little mix of the celery and the peppers to drizzle on top with the sauce. Oh, it smells so fragrant. So much going on in here. Mm. Octopus so fresh. Make it a mess, of course. This reminds me of an Egyptian version of jambalaya. This place is amazing. It really is. Their stuff is um, it was on really far. We yeah, we're go. yeah we gotta go from Egypt to Palestine. Oh, it smells good. Really smell that olive oil. To start, full modamas. So this is fava beans with olive oil, 
tahini, paprika, a lot of spices, very fragrant. Abu Ghosh hummus. This has roasted pine nuts on top. Looks like there's some cilantro, paprika. Looks delicious. Got that lovely shawarma that was shaved off with the metal meat shaver. There's some fries tucked underneath all that meat. There's some sumac onions. Looks like some beets, some pickled turnips, cucumber, tomato salad. Yeah. Look at all that fluffy pita that comes with it too. We're gonna carbo load. Take into this hummus first. This Abu Ghosh hummus. What's up? A little pine nut on there. Mmm. Olive oil really shines through. It's very earthy. A little pepperiness from the olive oil. It's very fresh. It's delicious. It's not overwhelmed by salt or any spice. It really lets the chickpeas and the tahini and then the pine nuts shine through. It's really good. It's really smooth. So it's the full modamas. Let's get a scoop of that. This is one of the most underrated dishes around at this spot. This spot, they make it fresh to order. As you can see, whole fava beans in here. It's not just puree, it's partially puree, partially entire fava beans, so. Mm. It's so garlicky. It's chunky, but it's still smooth. It's got that olive oil. It's got a little brininess. I'm not sure if that's from actual olives. It almost smells like it could be like olive juice. I'm not sure exactly, but it's, it is so fragrant. It's very unique dish. It's amazing. Oh. Let's take a bite of this chicken shawarma by itself. It's nice thinly sliced. Mm. It's got so much flavor in there. I don't know if it's just a little turmeric. So fragrant. It's delicious. There's a little piece of the crispy edge on it. Mm. Look how well spiced. Look at all the spices in there. Okay, so we kind of close the place down. Everybody's oh leaving. my gosh, we're still going. Bye. Bars. Oh my god, I didn't think we'd be defeated by the food, but we were. community center back in the day, El Kayam coffee shop, the old school OG Egyptian spot. This is the place we like to go to. We got our tea and cappuccino. I can't think of a much better combo with hookah than minty. Steinway, three of our favorite spots, and we got to chill out with two of our favorite vloggers. Vlog, right. we got two of our favorite vloggers. It's but they only have around. one vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Daniel and Naz. Yeah, definitely check out Daniel and Naz. They got an awesome channel, great travel, <laughs> New York stuff. Sorry. Check them out, they're great. We got a lot of fun showing them around. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Cause you know, you want to watch it right away. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes, you do. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. He's out. Close it out. This is dedication for you. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are Doing frozen. <laughs> Lady, what happened? <laughs> we got a little too excited. I heard it was good for your hair. <gasps> oh. And it landed in your dick. Did? Where is it? I think it's in. I think it's literally in your dick. <laughs> there it is. Whoops. There it is. I save it. I did save it. <laughs> mm.